What is happening, y'all? Welcome back as the adventure continues. So. Oh, God. Oh, my God. A lot of casters. Alright, I need to get this up. I can at least counterattack all the garbage these guys are doing. I honestly don't even remember this place. Screw you, man. Death is ass. If I'm gonna beat him, I need to have just I need I need to have like big dick buffs. Like top end swords, shit like that. Wield a barrier as well. The hell is that? I've learned the beast. gonna run. All I really gotta do is keep up Dark Anguish. The other buffs last quite a while. Dark Anguish is like a minute, I think. Whereas I want to say like Thunder Repost is like two or three minutes. And the Ice Enchant one. Not as long as like Holy Pact, but lasts long enough.
getting a quick save in case death shows up again. Like, I want to take him down, but I think part of it is if I'm going to fight him, it needs to be, uh... I need to be in an area that's not as tight as this. We're running, He's trying to put us to sleep. Wow, hit this thing. Killed one of my, uh, killed one of my bombs. Let's get her back out. I could probably fight him down in this room. Pretty sure it was Beatrice. I'll know in a second, because I remember she had like all all of her gear was pimped out already. Yeah, 28. Yep, all the grand casts. Of course, now that we're all down here and healthy and whatnot, death doesn't want to show up. Uh, he can only... And show up when we're ready to fight him. Has to show up when we're stuck in a hallway. No! Up. 
that guy's ass. Chests. Seriously, we absolutely obliterated that guy this time. I think once I get Abyssal Anguish, then we'll be at a point where I can probably take on death. Because it's clear that, that when I get up on something's face and I just start doing melee, that I have the damage to shred whatever we're going to fight. And now that I'm properly using trances, I'm seeing enough elemental damage come out of my... Uh, out of my magic cannon to actually hurt something. So I just need to get the, the upgraded versions of my spells and I should be all good. I think this is a swing back. Hopefully some of the gear we have is solid pickups for Magic Knight. We got quite a few pieces of uh, bitter black stuff. I must have prayed for it. We finally got adhesion. Thunder and hard, torpor and cursed. Magic and Stagger, Magic and Dark, Magic and Petrification, Knockdown and Ice. Ooh, Helm Splitter, Skull Splitter. Ooh, wait, don't I have that already? I'm pretty sure I have that exact thing already. Divine Embrace, Trophy Bracers. Pray, permit me to help you if there is aught I can do. There is aught I can do, say. If there no, I is gotta go learn I... first. Adhesion. Strength, strength. Have the stamina. That's good. I don't think I need precision as much. There is aught I can do, so pray permit me to help you now as before. I would if there is aught I Yeah, we already have a strider band. And then this is possession resistance, which I, know, I, I think seeing a pawn get possessed is complete ass. Um so what are the new ones? Twenty to magic, and it's not a magic knight. I guess I guess it's made for uh Magic Archer in particular. Um, Irish Climates. A decent debilitation resists, but helps against defense down. If I leveled it up, it would probably be better, but it looks goofy as hell. There is aught I can pray. Permit me to help you now. If there is aught, Stone Grove plunges it into the earth, causing pillars to erupt. I've heard that's good if you're doing a magic build, but not so much for what I'm doing. Uh, we'll go trance. them they're going to take less damage. I've heard Sanctuary can be good. Strength, Magic, Enchant, Faster Enchant, Poor Skills, 
helps keep your footing. I don't know if I want that or reduce. No, yeah, I probably want. No, well, I probably don't want either of them because the thing is, I should only be doing perfect blocks. So if I'm doing perfect blocks, um, let's do tenacity just so that that way, if I get booped by something, there's a chance I can hang in there and survive. Best face the trials ahead well prepared. Seems her mind is in precarious shape. She bears a melancholy air. Aiding one I'm not having any luck getting the, the dope bitter black here. I think what I might do after we we make it down to, to Damon um, just for shits and giggles before we move away from the game. I could just add in the specific gear to make like a super high on magic knight just to see how strong it could be. Because everything that I have seen or heard discussed is that once you have your like bitter black weapon and bitter black shield for Mystic Knight, it's like basically the strongest class in the game. But I've never experienced it myself, so I'm kind of like, well, how how badass is it? I want to see and find out. Oh, my shit was already out. Come on, I just... Just got my lantern set up and this asshole had to knock me in the water. sprint through it. This part kind of sucks. I just don't like fighting down in the water. Can't, can't see anything. Constantly, if you fall even a little bit, you lose your lantern. That's right, I gotta do physical first. Bitter? No. Thought I saw bitter black stuff on the ground there. Yeah, a knight in 
You got your ass beat. I'll say the more I play as Mystic Knight, the more it grows on me. Like, I, I doubt I would come back to Dragon's Dogma anytime soon after finishing this, just because this has been a rather lengthy playthrough. But if I did, I would probably start off as Mystic Knight and just stick with that, because I, I don't know. I always thought it was more of like a tank, but it's actually pretty fun. I think I think it's the perfect block that's that's uh, selling the class to me. Getting the perfect block encountering. I think going through the full game and swapping between like perfect blocks with either, uh, you know, whether it's a perfect block on fire or lightning or ice and kind of using the elements I need to counter bullshit. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Still attacking us. Double eliminators. Y'all about to get wrecked. did last time. Now this great cannon and just going to town, dude.
feel like my physical is hurting a lot too. I get anguish up. Probably shred this thing. Still don't remember where to go to fight the original one that I found, but this one just got annihilated. If we can kill that one, we can kill the other one. I mean, honestly, the only thing I'm still not sure about fighting is death. Only because every time I find him, he literally just kills me. He just, <laughs> he just puts me to sleep, kills me. Two gear. I'm just gonna run around, grab chests real fast, and then I'll kill this one. Absolutely destroyed it. Can blow the Cyclops up, still can't touch death. There might be a bit of black stuff up here. Level 3 gear. I don't remember if I can just go go right back in here, like the, the quick entrance, just go in and fight Damon or how I, I don't know if I need to go all the way through this. But I mean, the reality is, once you have your shit, like, you kind of, I don't know, it kind of reaches a point where there really isn't much else to do, you know? Because, like, by the time you get the gear, that you needed from Damon. It's a question of like, well, now that I have this, you know, what do I fight? Because even Ur Dragon becomes a punching sure bag at that point. Atlantic. Anyway, um, let's wrap up here. We'll probably make our way all the way up to Damon in the next episode, and then after that, we'll kill him again. Um, but yeah, we're we're getting pretty OP. Feels good. See y'all soon.